Stratocast again and this time we're going to have a look at the Raven. Um, this is one that I've had for a while. Uh, yes, it's had a uh, all black paint job which I will be revising. Apart from that it is stock standard, it's uh, completely unmodified internally uh, and, and yeah all it's had is just a plain black paint job externally. Um, what I'm going to do is uh, the usual procedure. I'm going to pop this across the chronograph and see what uh, sort of FPS it's putting out in stock standard form. Then we'll go about seeing what sort of modifications we can make and improvements we can uh, achieve. Now I have some motor replacements that I want to do in this. I have some 12 volt 130 size motors that are rated at 36,000 RPM. Uh, with high torque. So they're the plans. Um, first things first, I'll set up the chronometer and we'll uh, put some rounds over it. So that's in its uh, standard form, just running on, I've got two trust fibers, so that's running on 7.4 volts, so it's a little bit over the, the standard 6 volts. What I'll do now is I'll up the voltage, put a couple of uh, additional trust fires in, um, and we'll see what it does with just four trust fires in, so no mods apart from just up in the batteries. <laughs> using four trust fire batteries. So that's made a reasonable sort of improvement just by doing that. All right, so now we'll get about opening it up and seeing what uh, modifications we can make. Okay, so I've been around and removed all the screws. So this should open up now. Yep, okay, and we've got literally nothing on the left hand side shell, there's, it's just a shell. Um, okay, let's have a look at this side. We've got front muzzle set up, decent length of barrel. Here's your flywheels, flywheel assembly, jam door, which we should be able to pull off. Okay, okay, there's a jam door switch. This is your, oh wow, that's a really basic magazine catch. Uh, there's a little lock for a magazine, electronic lock, so we'll get rid of that. There's thermistors, diodes, okay, that's your main trigger switch. Four, okay, there's, there's a mechanical lock there for a magazine as well, so you can't pull the trigger without a magazine being in. But yeah, uh, it's actually a mechanical linkage which goes back to your dart pusher. So there's a rod that goes from this front trigger, from this front trigger up assembly, which is a, just a rocker arm action. As you pull the trigger, it rocks forward, pulls that push rod that you can see under there, or pull rod, whatever you want to call it, um, which is linked up to the dart pusher at the back here, which is this, this assembly here. So and essentially just drives that forward. To push each dart forward into the rear flywheels or the flywheels. So very straightforward. Um, all right, let, let's. Well, we're going to rewire the whole lot. So let's just rip all the wiring out, get rid of all the locks, and um, have some fun. Okay, I'll be back once I've pulled out.
most of the bits and pieces. So I'm just going to show this, uh, this is that mechanical lock at the back. Um, let's just see what's involved in removing that. Just undo the screw that's holding him in. Push that piece out. Push that little orange block out. Little return spring. So they're the parts from that mechanical lock. So if I'm not mistaken, should be able to. Yeah, okay. So now see that pulls that rod forward. You can see that rod through the bottom there. Pulls forward and the spring returns you can't push up. To, and now there's a mechanical lock on the front here as well. Okay, yeah, so as you as you pull your rev trigger, you can see it pushes that up back of the main trigger there, just here, and then obviously latches your uh, your front trigger, your trigger locks into it, when you pull your rev trigger, it allows it to pass, so, which hopefully will be fairly straightforward. out there. So that's your mechanical lock for your front trigger. Um, we will hang on to this uh, little cover because um, that may come in handy at some stage for something so you never know. I don't like throwing things out until I'm 100% positive that they are without use. So we'll hang on to that. Um, get your little trigger out as well. Let's pull the, pull the barrel front piece out. Oh, there you go, the whole barrel comes out. You can see your uh, trigger assembly. The flywheels, looks like it's just two screws either side, one either side. Under here. Okay, there's your connections to your battery tray. So we'll need to uh, either snip or desolder those. These wires here around the back. Okay, it's obviously a three position switch. So it's got a, a common and normally open and normally closed. So you've got three wires that are going to it. There we go. Alright, um, I'll pull all this out, lay it out on the bench, we'll work out what we're keeping, what we're getting rid of, and we'll go about rewiring it. Alright, well the motors were fairly easy to take out, they just uh, pretty much just lifted straight out after I uh, opened it up, and the flywheels came off nice and easy. These the flywheels, you can see they've had a few darts put through them. Um, the new motors, which look like this little fella here, um, these are 12 volt, 36,000 RPM rated. Um, so they've gone in, uh, did need to trim out or just grind down the little legs, uh, sorry, little guides down the side of each socket a little bit just to get them to pop in nicely, but uh, but they have um, located in there properly now, they're, they're seated in at the bottom of these housings nicely. So we can put the flywheels back on, um, close it up, and then we can go about starting to uh, wire it all up. I'll get these wired up and we'll be back in a sec. Now, I don't know if you're going to be able to pick this up, but this is something I've done just out of, for curiosity, just for myself. You can see on the flywheel there, I've actually put a score. That's actually just a score with the Stanley knife vertically uh, about every 5mm. Um, it, ju it just sits up a little bit on each edge of the cut. Just, I'm just thinking it might be just enough to actually give the wheel a bit of traction without... Um, 
unbalancing it and uh, and adding or subtracting material. So um, just sort of give it a try. Look, I don't know if it's going to work or not, but um, I am hoping that it will just just add that little bit of grip um, as the, the uh, as the darts pass through. So we'll see if it works. Okay. So I've got the motors in and rewired, um, just with fly leads at the moment. Uh, I was having a look at the switch at the front here, and you know what? For all the hype and bull crap that goes on around uh, micro switches and all this sort of stuff, I've done it all. I've put in ridiculous amperage rated switches and heavier gauge wire and all these things, and you know what? I find they make two tenths of BFA difference. So, um, Look, realistically, yeah, I know in theory, oh, it carries more current, whatever. But um, at the end of the day, uh, wow, you get an extra two feet per second out of your darts. BFHD, uh, not worth the time, energy, effort, or headaches, or stuffing around, or expense. So, factory switch back in. Now, what I did find was that little uh, lock, the mechanical lock for the front trigger that I pulled out before, is part of the return uh, mechanism for the rev trigger so when you uh, the, the spring in that is actually what returns your rev trigger forward again so uh so i've put that back in but what i did do was cut the little nub off the top of it which is what actually um locks your, your trigger so so i can depress the trigger now if i wish so not that i really want to anyway because if the fly was unspinning it's kind of stupid pushing a dart forward but nevertheless it's uh, another lock that's gone and uh, I think I might actually just link these um, motors back up to the standard battery tray and put uh, just four truss fires in there. Um, or actually, these are GTL unprotected 2300 milliamp. Yeah, so they're GTL 2300 milliamp, uh, 3.7 volt lithium ion batteries. Um, they're unprotected and they have been pretty good to me so far, so I'm just going to use those in it and wire it up to the battery tray. And so I'm just going to solder this together now. Okay, so here I am. Uh, this is just a real basic, so ultra basic setup. And so essentially, I'll just pull this back out. You've got your negative terminal at the back there, positive terminal at the front, as you can see by the wire colours. Positive runs straight up to the front two terminals on the front on the motors. The negative two terminals run down to the switch, then back out from the switch to your negative terminal. So basically, when you press your rev trigger, you're getting your positive and negative power through to your flywheels, and they absolutely scream. So um, I have checked them to make sure. They are spinning in the right direction, but I've done enough of these things now to know anyway. So, all right, so look, we're ready to close up and uh, throw it across the cronny. So this has been a really quick, easy mod. So um, we'll put it together, throw it over the cronny and have a look, see what we've been able to achieve. Okay, so the Raven Turbo mod, um, Turbo is in it. It was that quick to do it. Seriously, I reckon it's taken me less than half an hour to do this entire thing. Um, he's, uh, he's ready. Um, I um, will set it up and put it over the crony now and we'll see what it's getting with the uh, the new motors. Um, I want to, I'm going to, going to go a bit tactical with this one. Um, I, because of the bullpup design and whatever you, I think the banana mag looks awesome. And uh, this is one of my 3D printed kits uh, to turn a bit of 40 inch, uh, sorry, 40 inch, 40 mil pipe into a suppressor. So basically all you do is uh, it's got a 3D printed end plate, um, a 3D printed uh, plate that goes in the end there as well um, with a hole in it so you can put an old old barrel piece through the middle um, and then you just cut a length of uh, 40 mil pipe to whatever length you want so you basically can make custom make a suppressor to whatever, long, whatever length you want it to be. Um, and then it simply slots on the front of the blaster and locks in like a normal attachment to the attachment point and then just twists and that now locks on. So now that 
that's uh, what she looks like now. You can hear this. So, good reps out of it. Um, obviously, your cyclic rate depends on how quickly you can pull the trigger, so um, that's entirely up to the user. Alright, so I'll set up the crony and we'll put a few rounds over that to see what it's doing. I might, uh, just for gigs, I might um, leave the barrel extension on to do a few and then I'll take the barrel extension off and see uh, what sort of difference it makes. Alright, here we go. there was a dart in amongst that lot that uh, seemed to come out really weird. Um, I know, now know why that happened. If, uh, if you can focus on that, uh, it's because the dart is split from one end to the other. So um, the lowest reading that was in amongst that lot, uh, just ignore it. We'll omit that from the, uh, from the test ratings. So I think it's going to throw it out significantly. So, all right. So let's try again now without the barrel extension on. with uh, those motors, even though there's not a whole heap of difference between the actual FPS ratings that we're getting uh, compared to with the stock motors, um, at the end of uh, shooting with the stock motors, they smelt quite burnt. Um, you could actually smell that they were uh, getting chewed out, whereas these have no burn smell about them whatsoever, they smell fine, like there's just not even a hint of burning on those motors. And I mean you heard them, they were absolutely revving their guts out the entire time that uh, that I was shooting the, that blaster. So there you go. I kind of do like it with the, the uh, barrel extension, whatever you want to call it, I kind of like it with that. So, um, yeah, anyway, that's, uh, that's my basic Raven mod, um, and uh, I will be doing a little bit more to it in the near future, and I will post another video and show you what we do, what additional mods we do later on. Once again, thanks very much for watching. Please subscribe, and I will see you for the next mod.